Chantelle from Fibrific here. Um, I've recently had some questions about silk noil um, and using it with support spindles. So I've got some silk noil. I've actually got a massive pile of silk noil just here, but we're just going to use a little piece today. Silk noil is a uh, a waste byproduct of the silk milling process when they're making the beautiful, delicious, smooth yarns. They need to get rid of all of this sort of textural um stuff so it's all it's all lumpy it's all bumpy but it's still pure silk and it still has a beautiful shine to it when you're spinning it um it's very short this is the very short pieces so it really lends itself really well to being support spun you can spin it on a wheel for sure you would need a serious amount of twist and you would, so I would double check that you've got some nice fast ratios on your wheel. I wouldn't want to have to to, to uh, manually spin that. You'd have to ride like the wind. So this is me just having a little bit of a spin here with it. I'm just going over the top of the camera a bit. So so sorry if I, if I bump it. Um, we're just doing a bit of a sort of an inchy worm sort of thing. Not, not an ideal support spindle there we go a bit more long draw there um get a lot of twist up into your into your fiber and then draw it out oh there i broke it there we go just join it back on we've got to get a lot of twist in to draw out the next piece that was just to go over the join there and draw it out get some twist and draw it back and you get some really great texture you get some excellent lumps um i naturally i prefer a, a smooth spin so i do keep thinking to myself i'll need to pull all those bits out but i've really just got to let the fiber be what the fiber is sometimes and just let the lumps stay in um, i plan on applying this probably with a with a nice smooth single and um and then that way I've got just a little bit of texture rather than a lot of texture. Whoops, I'll just drop the spindle there. Just feed all that back on. Wind the cob up, which I'm well and truly due to start winding it down the bottom. Anyway, that's me just having a quick spin of a bit of... Um, a bit of silk noil onto a support spindle. So I'll just wind that on. There we go. And that's what I've got. It's very textured, very lumpy and bumpy. But it will make a beautiful yarn, I'm sure. Have a great day.